Hi guys, DJX Infinity here. In this video, we're going to be uh, talking a little bit about if then commands. So, this is going to be a lesson about um, the Arduino um, basically coding environment. Um, it's not going to be necessarily geared towards uh, other languages, but uh, can be applied to other languages. So, let's just get started here. It's going to be super short, um, just very short and sweet, I guess, is the way to put it. So I did this lesson myself. So here we go. Let's get started. So an if then statement is a very simple tool that you can use to add, you know, logic to your to your programs. Um, it's super easy to use um, with an Arduino. The if then statements and um, they can do a lot of things. And like I said a little bit earlier, it can be applied to other programming languages. So. Uh, Basically, it can do anything that you need it to. If there's a pin that you need to have, you know, read, you can make it read that pin. Um, it's super easy to use, and um, in, in real life relation, this is kind of what you'd you'd look for. If you um, cook dinner, then a person will do the dishes for you. So if you meet that condition, cook dinner, then the person will do dishes for you. So here's what it would look like in code. If you cook dinner, and that's true, if you cook dinner, then it'll do dishes, which is a function that'll probably, you know, be specified earlier on. Um, is if then statements are kind of arranged like a void loop function. It's kind of a good way to describe it because it looks the same and it opens up the same way uh, by using uh, these characters here. You can put things in the in the middle, and that will be it's a uh, function right there it opens up it'll say do dishes or all sorts of things and then it'll close using those so it looks a lot like that and it's kind of easy to understand if you cook dinner you cook dinner um, which probably would be a function you know or a, a name you know it'd probably say int which is init initialize int um, you cook dinner and it'll say that's probably you know digital pin 13 is equals high if that's if digital pin 13 is high then uh, if that equals true then it'll do dishes you know that's just kind of a way to think about it um, I have a sketch you guys can actually pull up this slideshow um, it's open for you guys to look at um, I have a sketch on CodeBender. The reason I have it on CodeBender is simply because it can be easily distributed online and it can be uh, uploaded to Arduino via the CodeBender um, extension on any browser, meaning it can work on Chromebooks, Mac uh, computers, and uh, Windows and Linux computers. Basically everything that can connect to the internet, of course. Um, so just go pull up that uh, sketch and you'll uh, have the whole code I guess um, I have the whole code for future reference but uh, I have it right here just a little snippet of it um, so here is a representation of it in action if the button read is high so if digital you know pin and pin which was specified earlier which is pin 2 if uh, pin 2 is high then it's going to turn the servo and uh, turn the servo is a function that I defined earlier that just does a few uh, servo dot writes and um, <coughs> so I do have it uh, set up like that it's super easy to understand if if you need a little bit more time understanding it then you can uh, close it and uh, so basically it's super easy to understand um, as you can see it says initialize int button read and that means digital read in pin and it'll say if di button or button read is high then it'll turn the servo digital read you can also instead of using a name like this right here you could actually just put digital read in pin and it will you know you just stick it right here and um you could do that and that work just fine but um I like to use words just because in my mind words are a lot more organized I guess so definitely very easy to understand 
So this is the end of the slide. Here is the rest of the code you guys can go and check out. And it's very simple and very easy. Now we have all the code um, right here. And by the way, I did do all this code myself. I did not copy it. Um, and uh, I did do this as a lesson for uh, my fellow students at the Benyon Junior High Mesa group. And um, that lesson went really well. Um, so definitely go and uh, check this code out on your own and really try and analyze it. I did try to document most of it with these uh, kind of slash slash uh, comments. Definitely go check them out. And um, in the comments, if you guys can put down what uh, you have questions about, what you think I could have done better on, that would be great. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.